What's up, Meld Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. My name is Fareed. As a part of today's video, we're going to be diving into the official Meld app on mobile for iOS. If you guys missed the Meld Ignition event, this was an event that kicked off about a month or two back where we had the entire Meld team announcing the release of their first ever version of their mobile application, which is now available to Diamond Hand holders as a part of their onboarding of their very first cohort so today we're going to be sitting down i finally got access to it thank you to the team and we're going to be taking a look at how to create a brand new wallet how to restore an existing wallet how to send crypto how to receive crypto we'll also take a look at some of the settings as well as the kyc option and anticipation of the meld neobank and their fiat on ramp and off ramp as always, if you guys do enjoy content like this surrounding all the builders in the blockchain space, make sure to go ahead and smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing for more content like this. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me surrounding Meld, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. Jumping over into the Meld official app, the first thing I need to do is go ahead and tie a phone number or a mobile number and an email to the official Meld app. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly enter my phone number. I'm going to go ahead and create a new account for now, and I'm going to receive a one-time code, which I'm going to go ahead and quickly enter here. All right, I've now confirmed, and I can actually go ahead and enter my first name, my last name, my application handle, which is just specific to the Melt app, as well as my confirmation or recovery email. So I'm going to quickly type that information in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and confirm all of that information. Let me actually just change this real quick. And we're going to confirm to continue. And I'm now going to go ahead and quickly check my email for the latest OTP or one time password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that number in. And just like that, I'm now prompted to create a brand new pin. I'll keep it simple for now. And I believe I should now have access to the actual meld application. So one last thing after this particular step, I'm going to go ahead and actually be able to access the meld application. And this is where I can confirm whether or not I want to create a brand new wallet, which if I do select this option, I'll be prompted to write down my 20 forward seed phrase, followed by the process of re-entering those values and then actually getting access to a brand new wallet. Now, I already have an existing wallet, so I'm going to go ahead and utilize that particular step here and basically um, enter my existing 20 forward seed phrase in order to get access to my testnet wallet, which should already have some funds or assets already located in it. So I'm going to select, I already have a wallet, and now I'm going to quickly go ahead and enter my 20 forward seed phrase. Okay, now that I've entered my 20 forward seed phrase, I'm going to go ahead and submit that. And this should recognize the actual seed phrase and there it goes and it's now congratulating me letting me know that my wallet is now available so i'm going to go ahead and click on finish i'll confirm that i do want the app to send me notifications hopefully they're important ones and i can now see everything within the meld app so this is to be fully transparent my first time walking through this here so bear that in mind again i'm going to do my best here to kind of break everything down but it's been a highly anticipated moment here for me and I'm excited to finally get my hands on this. So at the top left-hand corner, we've got the meld market, right? So we can see, or just the general crypto market with the current price of meld, which is up 13%. Bitcoin's been on a run lately. We've got Bitcoin up 2% and ETH up 1.8%. Let me see, I can actually swipe to the left or to the right. I can see the price of ADA, Avalanche, Trader Joe or the Joe Dex, as well as Doge, GMX, WMT, and et cetera. So pretty cool to see that there. I've got right below that the ability to send or receive. I'm going to click on receive just to see exactly what's visible there. As you guys can see, um, I can actually view my wallet address for the Melt Kanazawa network. And I can also see, let's see here, the pre-prod Cardano testnet as well as the Fuji test net for avalanche so depending on where you want to receive your assets again keep in mind that the meld wallet or the meld app is multi-chain um, that you can select which address that you want to go ahead and receive funds from next if i want to send funds i can click on send here i can then see all of my current assets which include test mint 
test RAP BTC, Kopi, World Mobile, Meld, test IUSD, and a few other assets here. Again, keep in mind that if you are creating a brand new wallet utilizing the Meld testnet, you don't actually have to go to a faucet. The team automatically has this set up to where you automatically get funds as soon as you create a brand new wallet. So I can actually see all of my funds from the testnet here directly within the mobile application. Now, right below that, I should be able to actually see my current um, portfolio value over the course of the last hour. Um, 24 hours, seven days, 30 days, etc. Because I've just created this, I'm not sure that there's actually enough data for me to show within the last 30 days. But if I do take a look at my portfolio over the last one hour, you can see that graphic there in the background. Next, I want to take a look at the melt overview or my portfolio overview, which right now hosts or holds 21 assets totaling up to $55,000. Now, when I click on that, I'm under the Manage tab. We'll take a look at the transaction here in just a minute. But from here, I can also quickly go ahead and choose to receive or send funds, which was similar to the menus that I just showed you guys at the very top level. But now I can actually dive deeper into my crypto wallet by selecting that particular option to expand that menu. From here, I can pin certain assets, which right now looks like Meld is a default pinned asset. I can see exactly how much Meld I currently hold. If I tap on Meld, it'll actually take me to the Meld specific information where I can then choose to view Meld on any blockchain that I hold the Meld token on. I'm going to swipe back left over to the overview menu again, and we're going to dive back into the crypto wallet. From here, I can view all of my other assets. Again, if I select that, I can then manage those particular assets. So this gives you a quick overview of what assets you currently have within your wallet. And of course, you can go ahead and utilize this particular filter at the very top. Let's say, let's just search for meld. And as you guys can see there, everything else disappears except for meld. And then let me just search for Husky. Again, we've got Husky there showing up. So interesting feature. Now, if I jump back over, I can also view the transactions that have taken place very recently. So as it stands right now, I've got um, transactions with test ADA that came in earlier when I created this wallet. I've also got transactions for Joe, Doge, Tether, Dai, etc. I'll just go ahead and select one of these here. And what we're going to notice or what you're going to notice here is the fact that as it stands right now, we can see the meld that was either sent or received right now. This was sent. So it's plus 126 meld right below that. I've got the time at which that was actually sent. I can also view the explore details in the status of the transaction, followed by the type of transaction, the blockchain it was sent on the receiver, the sender and the total amount of meld sent. If I jump back over, I can view the similar details or I can view similar details for all the other assets that were also sent to my wallet. So that's going to take us through the manage of the overview and the transactions of the overview of my wallet. Now, if I swipe over to the right or to the left, depending on how you want to um, call it, we have the meld token so I can view all the data specifically to the meld that's been sent to me. Again, keep in mind that meld is supported on Cardano, their Kanazawa network, and we could potentially see meld bridge over to other ecosystems as well. So I can see meld and I can manage it on two chains right now. As I mentioned, we've got meld, the old token policy ID on Cardano. We've also got meld on the Kanazawa network and we've got Gmail or the gas meld on the Kana Kanazawa network as well. If I swipe over again, I can view Avalanche, which is only managed on the AVAX network, or excuse me, which is wrapped right now on the Kanazawa network. But I would imagine that if I hold the actual AVAX token, that I would also be able to manage that here on the actual AVAX or the Avalanche network. So scrolling over again, I can view all of my assets this way. And this allows for me to quickly see how many blockchains that particular asset is listed on, and then exactly what I want to do with that asset. And it looks like there's an exchange feature also coming very soon. So pretty interesting features to note there. Now, if I jump back over here into the main menu, I can swipe all the way back over again to just the main overview here. If I swipe down, I can actually see some interesting information here. So I've got access to the top movers. I can also see top losers, and then I can also get information surrounding melt. So if I tap on that here, we've got what is melt? It states melt is your one account for traditional money in crypto, swiping over more information surrounding melt. So pretty user friendly. Um, I really like how sleek it is and how simple it is. Now, if I do this thing, let me actually try it out real quick. I'm going to hold the melt icon in the middle from here. I can do three quick actions. So let me try the down arrow. I believe that's to receive the middle is to view my crypto portfolio. And then the right is to send. So I'm going to test out sending here. I'm going to click on that. 
and I'm going to send some meld. Let's see here. I've got just the melt on the melt network. I've also got some of the old melt on the Cardano pre prod test net. So let me go ahead and try to send a little bit of that. So I'm just going to send a hundred melt and I'm going to click on next. And I'm now prompted to enter my um, receiving Cardano pre prod address. So let me go ahead and get that ready. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that and then we'll continue. All right. I've got my Cardano pre prod test net address. I'm going to go ahead and paste that here. And the address has been verified. I'm going to click on next. And I'm now presented with the summary of the actual transaction. So I can see the amount of test meld that I'm sending. Again, this is the old policy worth a hundred, uh, worth a hundred meld or a dollar 76 cents, followed by the recipient address, the blockchain, which is Cardano, the fee and the time that it'll take for the transfer to complete. And then I've got the total there, which is the amount of meld that I'm sending plus the Cardano transaction fee. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next to complete the transaction. And it now confirms that I've sent my hundred test meld. I can see the transaction details here again. The status is pending. We've got the blockchain, the recipient, the fee. And so basically everything that we just saw on the prior page. And I believe that might be it. So let's see here. If I jump back, I am now done. But if I jump back into the overview now, and let me actually jump over to meld, which is here. I'm going to go under manage. And we're going to check it out on the test net here and the transaction has not yet finished but you can see that circle there spinning at the top right hand side it's now dropped down to zero if i click on that i can see my recent transaction so from here i can see the transaction that i just made to send that 100 meld if i close this out and let me actually try to refresh this here I can now see the 100 melt that I just sent, which is now successful. I do have the wallet pulled up here on my screen in front of me. So let me actually go ahead and double check that. And I can confirm, let me actually pull up my NAMI wallet here, just to show you guys that the transaction has gone through. So let's jump over here. And I'm going to open up my NAMI wallet. I'm going to go under my recent transactions. And as you guys can see there, I have received a hundred meld. So that was relatively quick. I mean, took no more than I would say 30 to 45 seconds to complete. Let's jump back into the phone and take a look at exactly what else remains for us to check out. So that was how to send. I think receiving is pretty straightforward. Um, again, you would just copy that QR code and go ahead and um, set up the send transaction from whatever wallet you're sending to, whether that's on Cardano, Avalanche or the meld L1. So jumping back to the home page here, let's take a look at some of the settings. So I'm going to click on the DC logo or my DAP central logo. From here, I can view my profile details. So I've got my name, my handle, my phone number, and my email. I can also close my meld account. Right below that, we've got security and privacy, so I can change my password. I can enable face ID or fingerprint, and I can also show my seed phrase. I really like the security that the team has put in place here to verify or to double check all of your existing passwords or for you to provide your existing password before actually being able to view anything else. So if I go back to about melt finance here at the very bottom, I've got the privacy policy, which takes me to the official melt website. I'm going to jump back out. We've got the terms and conditions, which also takes me to the official melt website. And last but not least, we've got their EULA or end user license agreement, which also takes me back over to the Melt official website. We've got quick links to X or Twitter, LinkedIn, and their Medium. And if I jump back here, I believe that we can actually begin the KYC process. So before I do that, let me see what happens if I click on my name here. This appears to show my wallet address. I would assume for the Melt network, and now let's go ahead and try the KYC process. So here I can go ahead and confirm my first and last name. Of course, that's not actually my first and last name. I can then provide my country of residence. Let me go ahead and quickly do that. I can provide my street address, the city, and the postal code. 
I'll hit next. I can then identify whether I'm a politically exposed person. For now, I'll keep that as no. I can identify where I'm a taxpayer in, provide my taxpayer ID. And then I can confirm whether I'm a taxpayer in more than one country. For now, I'm actually going to leave that off. And then I'm going to go ahead and confirm here. My source of personal income. I'll go ahead and enter that in here. My average expenses or my monthly income, excuse me, after expenses. And I think I've got one more page to complete before I should be done. So it looks like there is an unexpected error here, but I believe that that would have actually been the very last page that I, would, that I would have to provide data for. So this is probably a great time for me to reiterate that this is a product that is still in beta testing phase. I know that multiple other members have been able to successfully complete the KYC process. So I'm not sure if this is a temporary issue or just something that has gone wrong with my particular application, given the fact that I am entering a lot of dummy or incorrect data. Nonetheless, I will be reporting this over over to the team in order to make sure that they're able to re reproduce the issue, but then also resolve the issue moving forward. So um, again, wanted to reiterate that this is a part of the process and this is exactly why we're actually undergoing this sort of testing. Now, one thing while I am here that I want to take the opportunity to go ahead and share with you guys is the fact that the Mel team has gone above and beyond when it comes to reporting issues. So if I actually shake my phone, which I'm going to go ahead and do that now, you will notice that I now get a need help pop up that allows me to report a bug, suggest an improvement or ask a question. So the team has gone above and beyond again to make this experience as simple and as user friendly for myself or additional testers to go ahead and provide feedback as to how their experience is going. But that's basically it. I would provide a little bit more information and then my KYC application would be complete. So that was the entire process here again checking out the Melt app. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I definitely did. This has been quite a nice experience to say the least. Um, again, this has been one of the platforms that I've been looking to get access to for quite a bit. Let me just try and see if I click on the Melt airdrop campaign. That takes me to the website there. So again, this team has done a really good job of incorporating everything that's going on with Meld directly into the application. So that'll do it here for today's video, touching on the Meld mobile application, which is available on iOS. I do want to highlight that the team is working to get this released on Android. Just to kind of give my thoughts here, very simple to sign up, super friendly, um, reminded me very much of the experience that I had when signing up on web browser, which again was super intuitive, super sleek, and the branding and just the um, colors all on point. I think that's one thing that Mel does extremely well is their branding and just their perception. And the application aligns with what I've seen so far and what I've come to expect from somebody like Melt. So I'll be playing around with this a little bit more over the course of the next couple of days, doing some more test transactions, both on Cardano as well as on the official Melt L1. I'll also be sending crypto from Cardano and the Melt L1 directly into my wallet just to kind of get more familiar with exactly how the platform works. In closing, the Mel team has knocked this one out of the park. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check this out, especially if you're a diamond hand holder. But as always, if you guys learned anything along the way, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by Dapp Central and you want more content like this surrounding crypto and blockchain projects, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me surrounding Melt or their mobile application, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.